Greetings, I am a student from Harmony Science Academy, Brownsville, and I'll be presenting my findings on the impact of geometry had on civilization and how it was used in this video. The driving question of this project is, what civilization had the most impact on the development of geometry? Since as early as 3000 BC, math has been around for quite some time with many mathematicians taking in their view in development of geometry. Even during the time of ancient Egyptians, they had to use geometry formulas and techniques to construct the pyramids. Though the subject has been around and in use for centuries, geometry is very important for advancing in buildings and civilizations, as we'll see in the next slides. Some brief trivia on the origin of the word geometry that it comes from the Greek words geo meaning earth and metro meaning measure. Along with arithmetic, geometry was one of the first two fields of pre-modern mathematics that provided the basis of the math we know today and use. As said previously, geometry had its roots in ancient Egypt and Babylonia even having traces to the early people who discovered obtuse angles in the Indus Valley. Back then, geometric theory consisted of length, areas, triangles, and lines. Today's mathematicians wouldn't have been able to understand without the use of modern day calculus. Geometry can be traced back to the time of the ancient Egyptians during the construction of pyramids, measuring the sides and was used to, to survey the Nile bank each year. The Greeks, however, revolutionized the experiments of geometry made by ancient Egyptians by adding rules of logic made by Euclid, an ancient Greek mathematician who was known as the father of geometry in a book called The Elements, which formed the basis of most of the geometry studied in school ever since. Euclid's The Elements is a collection of earlier knowledge of geometry. Its superiority over earlier treatments is rapidly recognized, with the result that there was little interest in preserving the earlier theories, and now they are nearly all lost. He arranged the elements of 465 propositions in about 13 books. Without the creation of the elements, we would not be able to see geometry as it is today. Another contribution that the major Greek civilizations had on the development of geometry was the ancient Greek philosopher and mathematician Pythagoras, who lived around 500 BC and was known for his Pythagorean theory relating to three sides of a right right angled triangle a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Another great mind who contributed to the development of geometry was. Archimedes of Syracuse, who lived around the year 250 BC and played a large role in the history of geometry, including a method for determining the volume of objects with irregular shapes. Archimedes also found the truth calculation of pi, which is 3.14 or 3, 1 over 7. He found out that pi was used to find the circumference or area of the circle. Such tools as the compass and straight edge were powerful tools in the advancement of geometry, allowing the construction of various lengths, angles, and geometric shapes. Geometry has improved greatly since ancient times, and the next advancement in the field of geometry occurred in the 17th century, when René Descartes (1596–1650) discovered coordinate geometry. Coordinates and equations should be used in this type of geometry in order to illustrate proofs. It is rather amusing to know that the origins of coordinate geography came up with just by René Descartes just looking at a fly walk across the tile to the end. Regardless of his roots, the creation of coordinate geography opened the doors of the development of calculus and physics. In the 19th century, Carl Frederick Gauss, Nikolai Lobeskedeski, and Janos Belay discovered non euclidean geometry which include hyperbolic, elliptic, analytical, and several other forms of geometry, which I'll be discussing in the next few slides. But the main three types are hyperbolic, euclid, and elliptic. The differences between euclid, spherical, and hyperbolic geometry is euclid geometry 
is based on the plane surfaces. In spherical geometry, is used in formulas for circles, like circumference, and area. In hyperbolic geometry, is based on unknown, exaggerated figures that aren't a definite shape. A great example of non euclidean geometry has to be uh, the popular PC game, Minecraft. As you can see, the shapes are quite different and not as plain as Euclidean geometry is. While recording my findings on the history of geometry in my journal entry, I have come to a conclusion that even though all of civilizations had their part in developing geometry, the Greek civilization had the most impact on geometry of today. Thanks to Aeschylus, the father of geometry, is renowned for the elements, which is one of the most vital books for the study of geometry. To conclude this video, many people think that geometry and math in general is useless beyond the classroom environment. However, it affects our daily lives more than we ought to give credit to. As geometry has helped us in many ways with the use of literature, engineering, study of physics, production of computers, and programming. Since ancient times to modern day, geometry has been very useful and I could imagine my life without it. Thank you for watching Harmony Schools.